Hello everyone. In this session, we will continuing the problems. Next, the problem is a shunt generator running at 1000 RPM at critical resistance of 80 ohms. Its shunt field resistance is 50 ohms. Then its critical speed of the generator is 1800, 625, 1250. So, same like a previous problem in that Ishant is running at 1000 rpm. First, we have the N1 is the 1000 rpm is there, and its critical speed RC1 equal to 80 ohms. If the shunt field resistance is, is decreases, it is the 50 ohms. Then critical speed value how much? So we already discussed there is the uh, proportional relation between the critical speed and the this so n is proportional to the rc that means so we will write n1 by n2 equal to rc1 by rc2 here n1 is the thousand by we need to find out the n2 rc1 is the 80 rc2 is the 50 okay so by doing this we will get simply zero okay and so 1000 into 5 by 8 so by doing that simplification we will simply get n2 value is the 625 rpm how we will get so we will do simply 4 2 ja and this is the 4 2 ja 8 4 5 ja to 125 times so 125 into 5 times it will become the 625 this is the speed the units are rpm okay so this is the same as the previous problem same like this next problem here the next problem is a dc shunt generator build up its rated voltage if the direction of the rotation is reversed by the keeping the field current is the same then the generator will the options are given like this a build up its rated voltage with same polarity build up its rated voltage with reverse polarity no build up of voltage and none so first the thing is just to understand this concept clearly just taking the small diagram so the question is a shunt dc shunt generator you know, we have so terminals are like this this is the field like this uh, and so this is the emf is generated in this case this is the field you know that this is the field and these are the one armature terminal another one is also armature terminal so it's generally whenever whenever if the direction is rotates so we have it is rotated with shaft so generally it is the generator that means it is the anti-clockwise direction this this is the rotation so we are applying the prime mover in this anti-clockwise direction so armature is connected like field a connected to eff then the emf will be generates okay so so to understand this concept we need to have some idea that is generator voltage is proportional to the flux and the speed right here what is the modification he is doing it, okay if the direction of the rotation is reversed the direction of the rotation is reversed means so it will become this this is the case it rotates with the reverse direction okay so it rotates with the reverse direction right then by keeping the field current is the same position so by, by keeping the field current is the same position okay right so whenever the direction is reverses then automatically what happen direct direction is reverse means what about eg so generally eg value this like plus and minus and field current will be supplied in this position in this position in the initial case 
what happens if the direction is reverses? Means the diagram will be modified like this. So this is the generator generally and this is the field. This is the field. Okay. So A and the AA. If the generator is direction is reverses means it will be in initial 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 direction is anti-clockwise direction. This is reversed. Whenever it reversed, what happened? This plus minus will become the minus plus. How will it become minus plus? Just observe here. Here direction is reverses means EG plus 5 it will become the minus n. So generated EMF EG will become change its sign. That means it is the minus and it is the plus. Minus and it is the plus. So therefore here F is there, here the FF is there. Then the field current is flowing from in this direction. Not like this direction. Whenever field current is flowing in this direction, so residual magnetism is in this way, but field correction direction changes, the main field will be in this way. So therefore both field will be become demagnetizes. So due to this, it will demagnetize the it will demagnetize the residual magnetism. Demagnetize residual flux. Then automatically the flux will become the zero. Then generated EMF will be zero. Okay, that is the most important thing. Then it EMF will become the zero. Understand? So this is the that's why this is the no buildup of the voltage. Voltage will be never build up for this condition. Okay, so most important thing we can take it as a note also. This is a very important note. A decision if the direction of the rotation is reversed by keeping the field current is the same, then the generator will generator will never develop a voltage. Never develop a voltage. <laughs> Next problem. This is also same problem. Here, a DC gen generator build up its rated voltage. Okay. If the direction of the rotation and field current both are reversed, then generator will. So here the thing is, here we have the generator, EG is there, and we have the field current is there. This is the field current. Okay. This is the field current. The thing. This is armature and this is the armature. What he told direction of the rotation is direction of the rotation will be changed means speed will be negative. Speed will be negative. This is the one thing and field current also the negative. Both will be the negative. So what happened? Uh, what happened? Generally, generally I will explain about theoretical then we will go for the calculated values. So here he told that he told the generally just look at here the direction of the rotation will be actually in this position but it will become the clockwise direction then automatically this will become the negative this will become the positive generally this is the positive this is the negative by direction of the uh, reverse direction of the rotation is reverse means this is negative and this is the positive so therefore the current will be flows like this but here the most important thing field current are reversed field current reverse means we can write it right like this and this is the thing this is the thing here the field current will be the reverse so this will be f and this will be the f f so just observe here field current reverse means the current entering from here this will be flows again field current also entering from this region. So initially we know the field current residual flux is in this direction and due to the field current this is also the in this direction. Both will be in the same direction then automatically EMF will be generated. EG will be continuously generated. Okay. So in the mathematical point of view so generated EMF EG is negative means it will become a minus n 
field current means the negative both will be negative then generated emf will be the n into phi so so it will generally generates the voltage here that's why when both are reverse there is no problem with the generation of emf so we can write simply equation one is correct option a is correct build up its rated voltage with the same polarity so there is no change in the polarity because residual flux and the main field flux both will be added in the same direction then the total flux will be added to that so the emf will be generated in this case okay so we can name it as this is also one of the note that notice if both direction of rotation and the field current are reversed the generated emf will be build up its rated voltage with the same polarity okay so these are the problems two important problem regarding the dc shunt generator i hope all of you understand the session thank you